Okay, well, I'm uh, finished. Well, I'm just awaiting. I uh, did all the packing at the other house. All ready to go. In the truck waiting. I have a few hours before I start from here, from Chesapeake here. I found this. Uh, from, uh, the last few days I've been going through stuff, but I found this. I usually don't wear jewelry or anything like that, but this is not good. This is leather or something like that. So I'm going to wear this on this trip like that. And it's sort of brown, so it's going to match my, uh, it's going to match the, uh, my ankle uh, thing that I got from India a long time ago. But I haven't worn them in a while, but I'm going to wait till I get to, till I get to Cape Town. Then I'll put them on to officially be like, so it's a, don't worry about that part. Uh, so anyway, so I'm at my final last leggies. Uh, I, I did a little mix, did a, a little mix. I'm going to take with me uh, an uh, organic avocado. And I should mix this a little bit better. Organic avocado. And then I, I had this uh, uh, CB kraut. This is this, uh, the raw, raw kelp sauerkraut uh, fermented, right? And I put some organic avocado in there. You really can't see it like that. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. But that'll be eating this on the train, the train ride up from, uh, take the Amtrak up to, um, to New York. And then I get on the Long Island Railroad and get to JFK so I don't miss my miss my plane. That'll be a tragedy. Oh boy, that'll be a tragedy. This one, you won't know right away because this won't be posted until, uh, in fact, I'm, I'm going to schedule it. That's why I like about YouTube. I'm going to schedule it so that I um, uh, basically be like, a, I don't know, uh, Mm, maybe Friday. I'll post it for Friday. I suppose we get a Friday morning. You know, when I get to Cape Town, then everything I said right now. Be, I mean, this is my blood pressure pills. That on this particular trip, I'm determined to get off of blood pressure pills. I'm determined. So we'll see what happens with that. Good luck to me. Ah, oh, I gotta take one now. Uh, uh, so, but even if some, you know, if, if some, I have a, a little blood pressure monitor, but it's a, it's a wrist one. And see, here's the thing with me and, and blood pressure, stuff like, like that. You know, the one you're supposed to take is the one over your, 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 you know, your whatever have you. I take the wrist one uh, while I'm traveling, stuff like that, only because it's just a consistent number. The num if the number may, remains consistent, then um, consistent, you see? So anyway, that's the way that, that's the way that goes, uh. Travel. Oh, look. I'm traveling with my Bible, my Gullah Bible. Da -da. That's right. Gullah Bible's going with me. That's going to be interesting how I interact with people. I have my passport in here. This will, this will remain with me. Your passport should stay with you all, all the time. Anytime you travel, you should stay on your physical presence as much as you can. And so this this, this is my sling bag that I've had for years since the, ooh, ooh, since the 90s. So that's that's gonna gonna be what it's gonna be. Uh, let me see what else do I have here that I, I don't need to show you anything, do I? I should put some glasses on, shouldn't I? I don't know. Oh here, uh, I do have my I have a water bottle. It's metal, you know, because um, when I get settled in in uh, in Dimbaza, I got to get me a copper bottle. Usually I use glass or ceramic, but I'm gonna try to get a copper. Thing that I'll drink my water out of, you know, the properties like that. This has that 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 stone that sh shit tight. I don't know, I'm saying it right. You know, it's that Russian stone that purifies the water. So you hear it in there, right? So I'm gonna be using that. I'm gonna be using this a lot. But you know, before I get on the plane, then I'll have to make sure this is empty of water. People, because you know how these people get they get all stupid and crazy. Um, with that. What's in here? That's my thing. I'm looking for something that I can't particularly find. Oh well, I know someplace. Looking for my glasses. I must have it in my other bag. Uh anyway, so that's so I have that. Oh, I'm supposed to take a, a blood pressure pill. Let me take it out here. And I'll take a vitamin D. See I have the, I have the vitamin D and K two. This will go with me. When I get to Cape Town, that's when I'll find it. I'm in deep, but I'm in, yeah, yeah. When I finally get to Cape Town, I'm gonna get uh, 
What is it? Yeah, my vitamin D. Vitamin D is what I need. E? What is it? E? Well, whatever. Um, I think it's yeah, vitamin E. I get your vitamin E crazy, but I'm not going to take a lot of supplements this time around. Um, let me take this. Nah, let me take the K2. The K2. I'll leave this lane. This just has. This is 5,000. This is. I don't want to start looking, trying to look at this with this. Is, but this is 5,000 also. It has a K2 with it. So let me. Let me leave this here. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait a second. I'm going to change it here. Huh? What kind of change I got here? What kind of change I got here? Hey, this is South African money. I might need this. Well, coins, you know. I got my own fact, I got two. This is, yeah, South African money. We ain't going to do no good here. I'll be in South Africa. Take that with me, too. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So I do have some South African. I'm carrying two wallets. But um, this is a wallet here that... Come here. I bought this online. Supposed to protect you from those scams or whatever they do when they try to steal your thingy. But I like this small, it zips up like that. But here, I have my card, my driver's license, and some South African money. So, uh, so I'll, I'll go with this. Then my other wallet that I have, I have my American money. So I'll keep that separate. So when I get off in South Africa, I can just put that wallet away. This one stays with me like that, zipped up the pocket. See, I zip up. I like zipping up stuff like that when you're moving around. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Let me get my... Just a second. Get my get my spoon, my plastic spoon, my tick back Han spoon, you know. Um uh, uh, peace and blessings on his eternal soul. He just passed this last year. And I got some um uh, I'm gonna be uh, Irish Seymour's. Hey, I got a I gotta connect. <laughs> I gotta connect in uh, Cape Town that, that he, he makes Seymour's. And I like to see more, so I'm going to do that. Anyway, let me take some sea moss now with my Irish moss. I mean, sea moss with my blood pressure pill. I do my Irish sea moss by just taking a spoon and just swallowing it. I don't even chew it up like that. I particularly like it. I had this mango sea moss in, uh, in uh, New York. I got it from New York. That was really good. But, but, but. The reason why I'm talking to you now is wasting, not wasting time, but I'm just talking to you. There's little fine things that I forgot to say in my Instagrams or whatever happened. But yesterday on YouTube, yeah, as a matter of fact, I did this thing because I found some poetry and I was reading the poetry and stuff like that. So this is done. Ah, finish this. Um, found some poetry and stuff like that. And I was going through this book and I found a little excerpt from a. Um, Crystal Burns is played at a. I wrote. Uh, I went to graduate school for playwriting in the late 70s. It was 77, 78, 79, I think. No, 78, 79, 80. I left the thing. I, everything but everything but dissertation. I didn't. I didn't turn in my my final play, but I passed the exams. I everything, took all the courses. There's a whole history of me. This is that was the first time. I've I've been to graduate school twice for masters, and I didn't take degree. And it all worked out well, each, quite well each time, right? Um, I'll tell you why some other time. Oh, well, let me tell you right now. See, here's the thing. The first time, I'm, it was just a weird... I, 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 this is like the late 70s. And at the time, I fit a certain profile. You know, it was like, there was a thing called, a phenomenon called the buppies. Like buppies. is a black, black, like professionals. Like they had the yuppies and had the buppies, right? And I fit that profile. It's like... Uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but you know, a handsome young black man, right? Um, uh, you know, clean cut. And, you know, I, I can wear a tie or not, but I wear I can wear ties. But um, you know, just really uh, fairly intelligent. You know that whole thing. And I went to playwriting, and and uh, and uh, if I would have taken the degree right now, we're doing what my man Mahmoud does right now. He's teaching some some college in upstate New York. If he went through the director's program like that. And, you know, I, I, this, this something came over me and I just didn't do it. Plus, it was sort of racist. It was a whole other underlying thing. But anyway, but but if I would have taken a degree, more than likely, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have bec become an audio dramatist. Simple as that. I've been a playwright, you know. And audio drama is like, oh, 
man, everything I've ever done, this is it's like it's like I'm on this path, and everything. As long as I relax and just chill and just go, I, I everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. I don't stress. That 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 that. Well, no, I said, well, I must stress. I have to take <laughs> blood pressure pills. I must have some stress. Um, oh, I didn't take this one either. Um, um, yeah, let me take some vitamin D K two. Um, so that was the first time, but luckily for me, then then it, it turned out well because I became audio. The whole thing with BAI, everything, some very defining things happened out of out of that. Out of me not, um, not taking that degree. Then the second time, I'm gonna skip. The second time was just this past few years. Well, when I started that program, 2016, no, 2014, 14, 15. I started a, a master's program because I wanted to get audio drama, strange enough, audio drama back into act, into academia. And so um, I have some, uh, some wine here. You don't mind. And, you know, it's from Fort Hare. And, and I was, and it's going all right. Where I've been, a bunch of things happened. Some drives got stolen from me. All kinds of drama was happening around me. And it just kind of, kind of delayed, delayed, delayed. And at some particular point, because I was studying for so, for so, so much, and one of the first things I learned that well, what really sunk into me, that we're ruled by fear. I'm, I'm talking about academia, ruled by fear, or just just the populace ruled by fear. But we won't get into that right now. But, um, but one of the things I realized that I was older then, you know, but. What they do is they get you in, you get into academia and then you're in this thing where you can make a lot of money, but you're in this you're in there in there what I like to call I like to call a backwash. You're in there somebody else's backwash. And academia academia they're they're ruled by it's all about fear, you know what I mean? They're this it's a cutthroat world, it's all kinds of things. I'm watching all this stuff. And then I realized I don't want to be a part of academia, but my original goal was to get audio drama back into academia, you know, papers. But then I, then I also realized I can just write papers and put it in an academic journal. And if it's good enough, the people, right now, even right now, I still get, uh, say, you, you've been cited here, you've been cited there. So, and that was a minor, minor thing I did. I'm, I'm about to publish some stuff that hopefully, well, I have a, uh, uh, have a, uh, a thing at Rhodes, Rhodes University um, in February. And out, out of that workshop, I'll publish the, that one, and I'll publish the one I did uh, in 2015, whenever that was, when I was at Rhodes before. Uh, and those those papers are really extraordinary, right, as far as audio drama goes. So I'll be back, and I'll be in, I, I can cite, uh, uh, I'll be cited in academia or push audio drama in academia without having to be a part of the, part of academia, because that's what it is. But back to this, when I was, when I was, um, when I went to school for playwriting, on the strength of two things that I wrote, two plays that I wrote, this I was just, I had finished undergraduate school and uh, I was doing a lot of poetry at the time. I had, long, I had this uh, epic poem called, uh, uh, called The Interrogation of Haven. And uh, I turned it into a play, right? Then at the same time, I wrote this, uh, this, this uh, play called Crystal Burns. And, and, and then the strength of those two plays, because I can, I can I'm not, it's weird, I can write, what happens whenever I need to do something, it gets done. That's all I can tell you, right? But I'm I, I I'm actually a good writer, right? And I'm really a good visual like playwright, like I'm a good visual writer, right? Um, but I was going through a thing, and I saw this excerpt from Crystal Burns, and then I uh, and I read it. I read it on a YouTube. And YouTube posted before this, you know, it's, it's pretty soon. It's, I'm just chilling, you know, in a chair, just going through this book, this poetry book I had. But I realized now this is that this play was done in like 1977, 78, somewhere around there, 77. Let's call 77. And part of the thing is the scene starts with uh, Nina Simone singing a Billie Holiday song in this thing. Right then, when I realized. I I I've, I've been into Nina for so long. It's like every morning I wake up to uh, you know, when I start my day. I I, I play Nina Marvin. Uh, uh, what's it called Valerie Simpson. Uh, Love woke me up this morning, and um, and Prince. Well, sometimes sometimes not. Uh, Prince. Um, Love that will be done. Those are my four basic songs, right? And then sometimes I've been lately I've been listening to Rihanna. 
uh, the thing from uh, from Wakanda Forever. Just because I just like I like her voice and I like the, the waves and stuff like that. It's a good way to wake up. Uh, and and I, I've been listening to Aritara you know, for uh, because she passed uh, this uh, 2020, 2022. Because um, uh, she she was like the, the first black. She's the second black female to win an Academy Award, I believe. But she was the first uh, music for music and stuff like that. Even before, was that before? No, Isaac Hayes got got, got, got for Chef, and I guess um, out there on my own came after that. Was either way, she's a pioneer. And uh, but I like her song "Out There on My Own." But I'm just gonna when I get back. When I, I don't know, I'll probably keep it in a playlist somehow. But I'm gonna um, I like I like to do my three people. You know, uh, Nina, Marvin, and, uh, and what's the name, and Valerie. You know, but uh, sometimes I put stuff in there, like uh, I do Greg Porter uh, in there, too. But, you know, what I'm trying to say is, is so back then, in the 70s, I, the scene starts out with, it says the stage directions. You know, I don't like to give a lot of directions in my when I'm writing a play, because that's up to the director actors to discover stuff in you and 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 the fact that the history of stage directions people don't really understand this but when when you have a play you, the writer just has usually just a, 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 a objective point of view a piece right and he gives it over to to the director the producers you know the actors they work on it and what usually happens is this one is this way back in the 30s 40s whatever the the stage manager is taking notes like the person enters over there and they take notes on the next day to say where, where did you enter at before the director where did you enter at before this doesn't look like right. something no, he entered blah 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 so those those stage directions that the stage manager took down right when uh finally when they started to publish the plays as it were like a broadway play and they published for like high schools and colleges to perform the play then that's when the whole thing about uh uh, uh, notes, you know, uh, what, what do you call it? stage directions was was included in stuff. You see, I'm giving you a theater, a theater lesson here. Included in stuff, but that's not how it really started. In fact, plays really started from from um, I guess if you want the modern theater comes from. I have to research. There is something that that Africans used to do, but the modern say it's all based on the Greek theater and whatever have you. You know, with the you know with the, whatever it is. Um, but usually it was poets. The, the natural progression is you. A, a, a poet becomes a playwright, you see? And so when you when they went back in those days in the, in the Romans, the Greek time, the Greek time, you didn't go to see a play. You went to hear a play. You went to hear what the poet's last next work was. So people went there to to listen to what the, the, the poet who's now dramatized his poem, let's put it that way. So that's the ah, that's a little history of theater. I learned something in graduate school, I guess, well for theater. So, uh, so anyway, so so my whole point is whole thing is that. So for me, to, to when I look back, and, I don't really look back a lot. I'm, I'm not a Sankofa kind of guy, you know, looking back to go forward kind of thing. I go forward. <laughs> if I don't even go forward, I go, I go. What I call the third infinity. You know, it, it, there's a there's there's an infinite past and an infinite future, but then there's this thing I call the third infinity, which is the infinite now. So I'm usually so digging into the now, I don't pay no attention to. The, the infinite past. I'm not saying people shouldn't do that. The, the history has its place and people should do that. Blah, blah. But for me, personally, it's not my thing. So so I'm looking at it and I realize that I've been to Nina for a long time. Nina's been with me for the whole, for a long, 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 long time. In fact, my first play, I'm talking about my first play proper included Nina, you know? So it's just, it's, it's fascinating to, to be reminded of that kind of thing because I don't actually think about stuff like that. So I've, Said all that just to say, well, because I'm 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 gonna post this like I said, but I'm I'm on my way. Uh, oh, one of the things that's helping me now because I got to deal with this whole back thing that's happening with me muscles. And when I went, I went, took a trip to Canada, and uh, 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 a woman friend, uh, 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 a woman up there, uh, when she she worked for a chiropractor, and they developed this thing called muscle care, extra therapy, professional therapy, uh, pain relief gel by Dr. Chris uh, Oswald. He's retired, but he made this product, right? So this is the, this the, the, the rolly kind of thing. But then he has the cream. So I'm not using the cream. The cream is in my bag. Wait till I get to South Africa and have my wife do the... But right now, I just use the cream, you know, roll, use the roll-on on my, on my back and my legs like that. 
So when I'm traveling, I'm going to use this. I hope when I get to the airport, they don't say, they don't confiscate this and say, hey, I said, no, man, this is, you see, doctor, doc, doctor, see a bus of care. Did you get that? See what happens with that. So, uh, so anyway, so I'm on my way. Uh, everything has gone swimmingly well. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, uh, my plan is this. Like I said, I, I made, I got the avocado and the sea kelp, you know, the beet sea kelp kind of thing. And I'm a, munch on the way up on the on the train uh even when i get to maybe i might get to dc there's usually a, a little break there i might uh get some bread up there and then put it on the bread even though i don't really want to do that now i don't really want to do that i want to keep my system as clean as possible i've, t I've got my smooth move tea i got it in the, never mind. Oh, see i'll take my smooth move tea with me because i am going to eat the, air, air, the airplane food uh you know but uh, when they have tea, what I will do is I will uh, I just ask for hot water, and then I'll take a, my own tea bag and uh, and use that. I guess my bag with that thing, but that's not gonna be accessible to me. I need to take some of these. Yeah, three, four. I'll take all five. No, I'm not gonna use five. But one, one trip to. You can't take a lot of these. I'll take three. I don't know how I'll use them, but instead of having tea on the plane, I'll have that. All right, and then what I'll do, this is a bag I'll carry with me. Well, hey, that's what I'll do. This pouch that will always be with me. Put it in with the Bible that I want to. Oh, you know what else I have in this bag? Because I found it when I was going through the thing. Constitution of the United States. I'm carrying that. Yeah, so let me put my tea in here so it'll be accessible when I'm on the plane like that. Oh, here, I guess I'm going to read some of this. But this is a, because I visited Dr. Mills' people up in Canada. And uh, and Ellen gave me a, no mastery is memory. It's a spontaneous unfoldment because he gets unfoldments. You know, Dr. Mills used to speak like that. Uh, it's for Christmas Eve, 1983. I guess that's good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to read that portions of that as a travel. You know, you take, what happens is you order the thing, sometimes you watch a movie, then, then you take a break, and you read, this is the perfect thing to like, you know, it's the perfect thing to every, every once in a while you open up, you read, you read, you read something from it like that. I know I got my Bible, but who knows. Um, and then I have my, when I do my layover in Doha, you know, to catch the Cape Town thing, playing. you know, you know, I, I read and then, you know, something's on the, it's something I don't really like the airplane kind of movies because they cut they, they uh, whatever sometimes it's TV series or some some interesting thing the, the music sometimes that but I got my own music of a dingy he da ha who I thought so who knows how this is gonna go um, so that's it that's all I just want to report to you um, uh, this opportunity um, and like I said it's not gonna be posted to well you'll see it on Friday when I'm when I'm when I'm landing in Cape Town this will probably pop up. Uh, if you subscribe, but I don't, oh, that's, that's the other thing. Understand? I don't ask for subscribers, nothing like that. I don't ask to monetize. You don't have to, whatever you have to do. In fact, what time is it now? What 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 what, what time is it now? If I do this, will I, will I lose my thing? 